what's up you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video it is a beautiful day to be alive because today i'm going to be reviewing the gymshark x whitney simmons volume 2 line right here first of all so proud and so stoked that Winnie is doing a second collection her first one literally sold out within seconds okay so all i gotta say is if you want to get something definitely have an idea of exactly what you want like a game plan of how to navigate everything and have the page like loaded on your computer or your phone so when it hits the time everything's going live you refresh you get your items and you check out as quickly as possible. Whitney Simmons second collection is launching Thursday, October 29th. So mark your calendars, get ready. I will pop up the time zones here and have all of this down in the description box. For me, it is noon Pacific Standard Time. I do have a Gymshark link, so don't hesitate. If you wanna use my link, go for it. If you wanna use someone else's, that's totally fine too. Okay, I really wanna start off by saying how quality these pieces are you can tell that when you put her heart and soul into the design the material the fabric like every single choice you can tell that when you really really thought about her whole collection is so soft and buttery and really feminine and the designs are a uh, amazing and there is such a variety in her collection which is so nice there are so many options that you can pick from there are shorts sports bras leggings two different type of leggings there are long sleeve crop tops hoodies tanks t-shirts so if you want more modest options she's got you covered there are joggers there's even a bomber jacket and a gym bag am i missing anything like she seriously has this covered throughout her entire collection. It's such a wide range, and there are so many colors for you to choose from, which is also super fun. I'm going to go ahead and list off all of the colors. I think I have at least one piece in every color except Amazon. So the colorways are black, cherry chocolate, Amazon, moss green, pink haze, intense beautiful blue cyber red and unbleached so those are all of the colorways that you can choose from so let's dive into the clothes talk about them nitty gritty i have been working out in these i've been testing these i've got awesome awesome feedback so let's jump in okay first up i'm going to talk about leggings because there's two different options now one of these is pretty similar to the old ones there are definitely some improvements and whitney's talked about those from herself about the seams being a little bit thinner but it's still that amazing buttery soft feeling so in the leggings i have black pink haze and the cherry chocolate the black and cherry chocolate are the high-waisted ribbed leggings these are definitely that more medium to high compression so if you're looking for something that sucks you in a little bit more that holds you into place this is a great option for that it is still the same stretchy soft fabric i feel like it's a tiny bit different though these are a little bit more compression like uh, I did cardio in these black ones and you know I definitely was feeling the compression while I was running like these were a little bit tight on me but I definitely could size up to a medium and you know that might have been a little bit more comfortable for me and then on the back it still gives that cute butt scrunch which is really nice something else that's really cool about these leggings is at the bottom it is ruched a little bit I think that's the word like it has like that little scrunch here too at the bottom of the leggings which is really cute I definitely think I would size up for sure on these I typically wear an extra small in most Gymshark leggings the only smalls that I wear in Gymshark are in the energy seamless because those are a little bit more compressive so I like a little bit more room in those but I would even size up all the way to a medium in these leggings because the smalls were still a little bit too compressive on me just personally so when I am working out I want to be able to have a little bit more of stretch and give in my leggings you know it just is a little bit more comfortable for me so that's up to you. Size up if you would like uh, or stay in the small size and just know that these offer a very good and high compression. And then the other option is more like her very first legging that she dropped uh, with the same detail. So, so I actually have one pair of leggings from her first drop and these are honestly my favorite leggings to run in because they are so smooth and soft and extremely stretchy. Like look, look at that. That's a freaking slingshot, okay? Or a weapon yeah well slingshot is a weapon Duh. so I'm gonna show a quick comparison of the back and the front of these just so that you can see a little bit of the difference there is a little bit of the difference in the design there is also a little scrunch butt which we all love right we are a huge fan of Whitney's got us covered you guys we don't have to have a Uta butt no more we've got two butt cheeks okay so 
we love that and when you wear them you cannot even tell that it's there at all it just it blends in perfectly versus like the animal and the camo like you can sometimes kind of see that there's something there but this is like an awesome design this is great like she literally knocked it out of the park uh, the bottom of the legging is just a normal flat and straight the other difference between these is the like little Whitney Simmons logo it was a cute little bar last time but now it is the cutest little cursive print that is woven on and it's really stretchy it's not hard and you definitely can't feel it at all so that's on every single piece it says Whitney Simmons her name in the cute gold and it's a beautiful day to be alive so it's kind of a fun little special thing where you get to search for on our clothes and it just adds that personal touch that personal flair are we mad about it no we freaking love it thank you Whitney I am 5'2", and these leggings, I feel like, hit me at a great place. She made them, like, a 7th H, so if you're shorter, they still hit great, and if you're a little bit taller, they're not floods on you. Okay, moving on to the shorts. I have the shorts in four colorways. We've got black, which everybody needs a nice pair of just classic black shorts. Am I right? I've got the beautiful blue, which is truly beautiful. I remember I wanted that color in the first collection and I didn't get it. And oh, I'm so glad I have items in that color. It is so stunning. I also have moss green, which is so cute. I just, oh, I love the greens and the browns and it's just such a beautiful color. And cyber red, which this is such a fun color as well. You can't go wrong with any of the colors. I know that there's a lot to choose from, but it's like, you can't mess up. You can't mess up. So when it comes to these shorts, I think that they do fit pretty true to size. The waistband fits great. They're pretty much the same bomb leggings, just made into shorts. They are so soft, so stretchy, incredibly flattering. I love these shorts. The back looks the same. You've got that pretty detail, the flat seams, as well as the butt scrunch there. They do give me a camel toe, though. I'm going to be honest, okay? When I walk, they ride up, and I do get a camel toe. I can't ignore that, but honestly, there's a ton of shorts out there that give us camel toes and that ride up. Like, some people are like, name a pair of shorts that don't do that. And I'm like, true, you right. There are like a few select ones that don't. And those are like the greatest of all time. I do find all of these colors squat proof. I personally choose to not wear underwear with this collection just because it is that super soft, buttery, stretchy feeling that it kind of is prone to show more of the material if you're wearing underwear but if you're uncomfortable with that like i get you i normally always wear underwear under my workout gear and i just wear the seamless thongs from victoria's secret you can just get nude color so they blend in we're now moving into the sports bras let me go to my rack oh my gosh which color i kind of hurt my back deadlifting a little bit today i was being a little bit too adventurous i was like i want to do sumo deadlifts i kept it light but I think I tweaked something. It is what it is. Like, it happens. All right, let's talk about these sports bras. And just look at these colors, you guys. We've got cherry chocolate, cyber red. Ooh, so pretty. Beautiful blue, which I feel like looks so good on everybody. And then unbleached, which goes with pretty much everything. So you cannot go wrong with this colorway. Now, when it comes to the bra, first of all, it's absolutely stunning. It is so soft. On the bra, there is a little detailing of Whitney Simmons' name down the side, which is so gorgeous. There is a middle seam. And then on the back is the cute ring with the little keyhole. This is such a fun detail. You guys know when it's time to work back, we need a cute bra to look at. This is the one. This one is so cute. I also feel like you could wear this out and about like a night on the town. I love it. Like, I'm such a bra girl, so anytime I can go into the gym and feel like low-key like kind of pretty i'm like okay guys like yay let's lift weights you know i don't know just is kind of fun i really really love it so i think it's fantastic a couple things to point out is it does stay a little bit higher on the armpit area because at first i was like oh i normally like like a little bit more room in my armpit like but honestly once you put it on it's so comfortable like i didn't even realize that it went up a little bit higher. I usually like it lower, but this is actually freaking great and it covers you in the front and the back. The only other thing is when I first initially put this bra on, it was a little bit tight and I don't know if it just, I needed to like adjust things or have things adjusted, but I like wiggled around and moved around. I first thought, oh my gosh, I should have sized up, but honestly, I definitely wouldn't size up. I would for sure stay true to size. Um, it does have like a little seam underneath that's a little bit thicker. I wouldn't call it bulky at all, but there is a seam under the bra, which you can kind of feel, but I really couldn't 
For me, it's definitely a medium support. I actually was jumping in this and the girls weren't going anywhere, which I'm surprised about. Because again, at first, when I first put it on, I'm like, oh, is this like a little bit tight? But it, you really do warm up and feel great. And yeah, that's pretty much everything about the bra. All right, next up I'm gonna talk about the long sleeve crop tops. I have the cropped long sleeve in cyber red as well as unbleached. These are also fantastic. And I have worn these during my workout. It was a back day and let me tell you, there are a lot of Gymshark's cropped long sleeve that are too thick and sweaty and when you put them on, you just kind of want to take them off immediately because they're just thick. This is not the case. This is so stretchy and it is soft and it is thin. Again, I'm saying soft because that's like the best way to describe this collection. It's definitely breathable. So I like to actually wear these and I love to warm up in them. It is also really cute in the back because you have that cross back where you can see the bra poke through, which is so adorable. There is ruching on the side as well as on the arm sleeves, which is so cute and it's just such a nice detail. Also, there is mesh at the ends of the tops, which is another detail that's throughout Whitney's collection, which is very thoughtful. I also like that this is stretchy enough. I like to roll up my sleeves when I work out a little bit because I like to see my Apple Watch. So this is actually loose enough and stretchy enough that you can do that. Like, you know, when they're like a little bit long, I always roll them up like once or twice so that I can see my Apple Watch and I have my hands like free, you know, nothing's on my wrist while I'm lifting. So you can do that with this. I love it. You've got the Whitney Simmons gold name across the back. And actually, wait, I don't know where it says it's a beautiful day to be alive. I need to investigate. Wait, where does it say it? Oh my gosh, wait. I can't find it. Whitney! I just love that I can actually wear those and work out in them. And then I can also take them off and finish my workout because I like to wear kind of crops to the gym and then warm up and take it off. But I could do a full workout in that and not be overheated or sweaty. Next up are the tank tops. I've got the tank tops in beautiful blue, cyber red, as well as cherry chocolate. Here's what the front of the tank top looks like. It's got that middle seam running down as well as mesh throughout the bottom of the tank, which is so darn cute. We love that detail. It says it's a beautiful day to be alive on the collar. On the back of the tank top, you've got the cute Winnie Simmons logo as well as the cutest crop out, which is adorable. The top of this also has mesh, which is again a detail which we love to see. This tank top also does have a pretty nice drop sleeve, so it's not super uptight in your armpit. You have plenty of room. Something else that's really nice about this tank top is that you can tie it up. It's really easy, so if you still want a little bit more coverage, but you do want to tie it up, that's great. Feel free to mix and match. Feel free to just try different things out. I think that makes it even more fun and enjoyable when it comes to your active wear, because you can wear the same pieces with a bunch of different things. Plus, because they're like solid basics you can mix them in with a bunch of your other active wear which again is so thoughtful we love staple pieces in our collection next up is the long line tee i only have this in beautiful blue but it is beautiful it is an oversized t-shirt fit so definitely stay true to size because it is pretty oversized this is a small so the mesh is on the back as well as on the bottom i don't feel like that's super see-through i wore this out to the park when Vinny was laughing really hard and uh i i loved wearing this out we were just out walking and it was so nice and airy and roomy and it's just like a cute staple especially if you want to be covered up more when i was pregnant this is what i would wear all the time so definitely pregnant postpartum i would rock this now i'm going to talk about her recovery day items so they're little joggers in a crop hoodie which are so soft yes i said it soft i have the cropped hoodies in the color cherry chocolate as well as unbleached some details about the recovery hoodie is that it has some dropped shoulders, which I think is super flattering and cute for a little bit more of like an oversized fit. It's got a crossover hood, as well as it says Whitney Simmons on the end of the drawstring, which is super cute. It also says it's a beautiful day to be alive on the strings. I don't know if you can see that, but it just kind of feels really cool. When it comes to these, these are so stretchy and airy. They are so loose and comfortable. Oh, they're so nice. 
Guys, I have worn the unbleached one to the gym twice now. I'm a huge fan. Held up great during a workout. It's great to have during a warm up. And it's just seriously so soft and stretchy and light. So honestly, I have nothing bad to say about this. And then I also have the matching joggers in both of these. So the cherry chocolate and the unbleached. When it comes to the joggers, these are very fitted. So, um, I know some people don't like fitted joggers and some people love them. I just want to say these are fitted. Like they definitely do hug your frame in every curve that you have. Something that I love is that these have zipper pockets. Okay, she nailed it with the zipper pockets because I don't like it when my phone is flying out of my pockets, okay? I want my phone to just sit in there comfortably and just stay in there, okay? Like don't go anywhere. Just stay in my pocket. All right, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I got to talk about. The bomber. <sighs> All right, you guys, let's talk about this bomber, okay? Because it is bomb. When I first tried this on, I was doing the like unboxing on Instagram and I didn't remember or realize that it was reversible, but this puppy is freaking reversible, okay? You've got the smooth, sleek like side and then you've got the fuzzy, wuzzy teddy bear side. So you can have either or I love the gold detailing that is on this jacket down the middle. That's where the zip is. It also says it's a beautiful day to be alive along her collar. And it's just so, so cute, you guys. Like, it's nice. And it's a good, like, oversized, kind of boxy fit, boxy look, where if you want to size up, you totally could and get it, like, extremely oversized and, you know, go bra girl. Or you can just get true to size and it's still so freaking cute. Like, the jacket definitely is longer, so it kind of almost covers your butt, which is kind of cool, too. All right, you guys, that wraps up this whole haul. This was a lengthy one. There are so many pieces to go in depth and review. I definitely think that there are tons of staples that you will like that'll be great for you to try out. Hopefully you get what you want. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get to them. My sizing for references will also be down in the description box and I can talk about each of these pieces. If anything, I think that this collection might run a tiny bit snug, but not too bad. I definitely think that I would stay in a small for all of these pieces. My possibly size up in the um, high-waisted ribbed leggings but that would probably be the only thing I would personally size up in I do have a Gymshark link so don't hesitate if you want to use my link go for it if you want to use someone else's that's totally fine too but yeah that wraps it up thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video bye